Hey guys, it is Twisted X Lizard here from Twisted X Gaming, and I'm with Twisted X Gecko here, and we are doing a, another episode of the top 10 gun thing in COD history. Um, we are doing the top 10 LMGs today, and at number 10 is the MG36 from MW3. The accuracy on this weapon is medium, the damage is just a bit over medium, the range is pretty good on this fire rate is the same thing, and mobility is very low, because it is an LMG. And the attachment I would recommend is Red Dot Sight. So, see you in number 9. Alright guys, here we are at number 9, the FG-42. We are in World Out War right now, uh, and this gun is pretty good. The accuracy is high, but I am using bipod, so it makes it even higher. The damage is medium to high, which I don't d agree with, because it has a lot of damage, in my opinion. The range is high, the fire rate is high, and the mobility is low, because it is a light machine gun. It says machine gun on it, but it is a light machine gun in World Out War, they just call it a different name. So, on to number 8. And here we are at number 8, with the MG42 slash MG4. We are in COD 5 with the MG42 starting off number 8, and the accuracy on this weapon is not that great, but the bipod increases it. The damage is medium to high, the range is high, fire rate is high, and the mobility is low because it is an LMG. And now on to MW2 for that variation. Here we are in MW2 with the MG4, and the accuracy on this gun is pretty beautiful, I'm not going to lie. The damage is not that great for it. The range is pretty high, and so is the fire rate, and the mobility is low, once again, because it is an LMG. In MW2, I would recommend a grip for this weapon, because it the, the recoil is pretty high for it, so I, I would just stay with grip, and the iron sights aren't bad, so you don't need red dot. So now we are going to number 7 at this point. We are on number 7 with the MK46 in Modern Warfare 3. This gun is pretty good. Um, the accuracy is probably medium to low, and the damage is pr the same thing, medium to low. To probably like medium to high, I would say. The range is the range is high, the fire rate is low, and the mobility is, again, low, because it is a light machine gun. I recommend this gun. I recommend using grip for it, too. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, see you in number six. And here we are at number six with the Browning M1919 from COD5. The accuracy on this gun is pretty low, but Bipod brings up the accuracy, so I would use it. The damage is pretty good on this weapon. It's medium to high. The range is high. The fire rate is medium to high, and the mobility is low, because, once again, it is an SMG. So, now, catch you on the flip side in number 5. And here we are at number 5, guys, with the M240 from MW2. Uh, this gun is pretty good. You get it last, and I like it a lot. The accuracy is high, so it doesn't have a lot that, that much deep recoil. Uh, the damage is low, unfortunately, um, but the accuracy does um, make it better. So uh, the range is high, the fire rate is also high because it's actually a very rapid, and the mobility is low because once again it is a LMG. I don't think I have to say that anymore, but I recommend Red Dot for this gun. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. See you guys in number four. And in the number 4 spot is the M60E4 from COD4, Black Ops, and MW3. In COD4, this gun is very good. Um, the accuracy is medium to high. The damage is really high. It's very good. Um, the range is high. The fire rate's really low. And the mobility is low, because you already know why. Um, I hate the iron sights for this gun, so I would recommend Red Dot. And I will see you in Black Ops. Here we are in Black Ops with the M60, but not the M60E4, it's just called the M60. Um, 
This is probably the worst version of the M60. Um, the damage is high, although the range is medium. The accuracy is pretty bad on it. The mobility is surprisingly high. I have no clue why that is that is um, true. And the fire rate is about medium. Once again, red dot. Recommend I recommend red dot for this because the iron sights are terrible. And now on to MW3. And here we are with the last version of the M60 E4 in MW3. This M60 E4 is pretty good. Um, the accuracy isn't that great, but the damage is really high, and the range is pretty high as well. The fire rate is also really high, but the mobility is low, because you know why. Um, once again, I recommend Red Dot for this, because the iron sights are really bad for it. So, I will catch you in a number three. Here we are at number three with the L86 LSW in Modern Warfare 2. There's two versions of this. It's the same name, but in Modern Warfare 3. And I think the Modern Warfare 3 version is much better. But anyways, the accuracy is pretty low. Uh, the damage is high. So is the range. And the fire rate is also high too. The mobility is low. And I definitely recommend Red Dot because I do not like the sights for this gun. It's, it just covers like the whole screen basically, so yeah, see you in Model for 3. Alright guys, here we are, it's still number 3 and still the L86 LS LSW, and we are at Model for 3 version of it. This version, like I said in the last video, is much better than the one in Model for 2. Um, the accuracy is, um, I don't think it got lower than before. The damage definitely got lower. The range is high, and so is the fire rate, surprisingly very high. And the mobility is very low, because it is an LMG. Um, I recommend Suppressor for this gun, because you're invisible on the radar, and it just it's just very good with it. I like the sights on it. It's very different than the one in Mono for 2. So, see you in number 2. Here we are at number 2 with the AUG HBAR in MW2. This gun is really good in this game. It's the only version of it that is that it is an LMG. The accuracy and damage are about the same, being pretty high. The range is pretty much the same as both of those two. Uh, the fire rate is about medium, and the mobility is low. Um, I would recommend a grip for this gun, just be simply because no other attachment's that great for it. And now on to the best LMG in COD history. Here we are at number one. I'm really excited for it. We have the RPD. It's definitely the best light machine gun in COD. Um, so it is two versions of it. There's one COD 4 and COD and Modern Warfare 2. I definitely like the Mon Modern Warfare 2 version better. This one, the one on COD 4 is just weird, but I still like it. The accuracy is medium to high. The damage is high as well as the range. The fire rate is low to medium, and mobility is low as usual. If I was to use a light machine gun, which I don't usually use, I don't really like light machine guns that much, but if I was to use a light machine gun, it would be definitely be the RPD. I recommend grip for it, because I like the, the um, iron sights for it, and it does have a little bit of a kick to it, that's why the accuracy is medium to high, so that's why I would recommend um, grip. It does increase the accuracy. So see you in MW2. Alright guys, we are still at number one, and still at the RPD, um, and in sec instead, this is an MW2. This version is definitely better than COD 4, like I said before. The accuracy is a little lower, but that's why I would recommend grip in this game too. And the damage is high, as well as the range. Fire rate is actually increased a little bit, so it is, I would say, me about medium exactly. And the mobility is very low. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe to Twisted X Gaming. And this is Twisted X Gecko and Twisted X Lizard. And we out.